Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Luke Skywalker lightsaber construction figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Star Wars Vintage Collection line of products. I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com for a clearance price of $6.90. This figure was part of the Blu-ray deleted scene wave of Star Wars Vintage Collection figures that came out earlier this year. This is uh, how Luke Skywalker looked in the deleted scene from Return of the Jedi when he was finishing assembling his new lightsaber on Tatooine. Now, it's been quite a few years since I got a Luke Skywalker figure in the Black Jedi Knight outfit, so I was very curious to see what improvements had been made. I never saw this figure for sale locally, so I was glad to see that BigBadToyStore.com had him available and for a clearance price. When I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I was quite impressed. Uh, the facial sculpt looks good, and nice attention has been paid to the costume itself, with the right amounts of black and gray shading. Some Star Wars fans have complained about his hair being parted on the wrong side, but I really think that's a nitpicking criticism. Most of the joints worked right out of the package. However, the elbow joints were frozen, and they still feel very tight when I try to pose him. All other joints in the knees, wrists, ankles, and neck were just fine. So what I'll do here is pause, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. All right, uh, Luke Skywalker came with five different accessories, so let me pan down and show you what those are. The figure stand that I have him standing on was not included in the package. Okay, first up, he came with uh, his activated lightsaber in its complete form and a deactivated saber in its incomplete form. The deactivated saber has some really intricate detailing on it showing its inside components. And I think it's really well done especially when you consider its small size for a figure in this scale. Okay, next up, he came with this wrench-looking device. Uh, I believe this was called a hydro spanner, and it too has some nice detailing on it. Okay, next up, he came with his belt, and there's a small clip located right in the back here, as you can see, and uh, that holds it together on the figure's waist. Okay, and finally he came with this brown Jedi robe. The robe, um, I'll be honest, it appears to be a little too big for this figure. And when I have him sitting on my shelf, I generally find that I'm leaving this accessory off. Okay, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of the figure and let you see what he looks like from all sides. Okay. So overall, I find myself really liking this figure. I think it's a nice update to the Luke Skywalker character in his Jedi Knight costume that was seen in Return of the Jedi. The accessories, they all look great too. I only had some minor problems with his elbow joints uh, not working correctly, and I feel that the Jedi Knight robe is a bit too big for him. But in spite of that, I have to give this figure a great recommendation. If you see him in stores, or if he's still available on a, a website like BigBadToyStore.com, pick him up. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.